Good morning and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where today we're here at Disney California Adventure. I'm super excited to see what the park has to offer. It's Charlotte's first time here today at the Disneyland Resort enjoying this second park and yeah we've got so much to get on including checking out Avengers Campus that's new here. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Yeah we're going to be seeing uh, Web Slingers, the brand new dark ride and seeing what that's like and of course heading around the park sharing lots of on-ride POVs because we're here at Disney and they allow it and uh, yeah of course seeing Charlotte's first reaction. I don't as well. know what to expect today. It's a fantastic second gate park here at the Disneyland Resorts. I think you're going to absolutely love I'm it looking here. Forward. So many rides to get on. Let's start our day here at DCA. So the experience starts here on Buena Vista Street, which is a gorgeous entrance here to California Adventure. And yeah, it's a pretty big park. Lots of rides and attractions all within. Another beautiful day here in Southern California. Here we go then, so it's just gone 9am and the park has opened. Same hours as Disneyland yesterday, 9 through until 8 o'clock. Meaning we'll get some night rides in later. Fantastic. As you can see, they're actually doing maintenance on World of Colour over there at the moment. And yeah, it's all lifted up, so it means that, uh, yeah, it doesn't look quite as glamorous in the middle of the park. Not glamorous at all. Well, you've still got loads of attractions to see that's going to be so great. Much. It's going to be wonderful. But yeah, we thought we'd come down to Pixar Pier. We're going to start off with Midway Mania, because that's a popular ride. A lot of people seem like they were going towards cars, and also um, down towards Guardians of the Galaxy and uh, Web Slingers as well. So we thought we'll come down here, start kind of at the back of the park and work our way forwards. Well, we're going to start off with Midway Mania, but it's having some technical difficulties, unfortunately, this morning. So yeah, our plan has backfired a little bit for the first ride. But we're going in Credit Coaster. Yeah, it's a fantastic coaster. This is actually one of the longest coasters in the world. It's only got a five minute standby wait. So yeah, let's go and get on in that lovely California sunshine. It's also a fantastic night ride, this as well. Here we go then, front row ride, starting the day. Here on the Incredicoaster, hey Charlotte. Woo. Oh, what a great view. That's a great animatronic. Yeah. Here we go. Woo. It's a great front row ride. There we go, the Incredicoaster. So we just come off the front row there of the Incredicoaster. How was that for you? That was brilliant. It was so smooth. The launch was so snappy. I really enjoyed that. It's a great ride with an awesome onboard soundtrack. Fantastic night ride as well. So we'll do that later on. And so yeah, there's over 6,000 feet of track on that. Yeah, it was so long. Brilliant ride. Uh, anyway, another one of our favourites here. We've got to Mickey's fun wheel. Charlotte's got a sick bag just there. Here we I go. Don't know how I feel yeah, <laughs> you'll be fine. But yeah, we're on the swinging gondola, and here we go. <laughs> either choose swinging or non-swinging. There you go. You have a nice little ride like this on Mickey's fun wheel. 
Here we are, nearly at the top of Mickey's Fun Wheel, and you get a fantastic view all across the Disneyland Resort, California Adventure, and yeah, down there below, one of the most spectacular water shows you'll ever see. Not running at the moment, unfortunately, but hey, world of colour. Whoa! <laughs> You're right there with your sick bag. I can only think of two at Disney attractions where you get a sick bag, and that's this, and also Mission Space at Epcot to give you a sick bag. You alright? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, it's not for everyone. But yeah, you get a fantastic view. Radiator Springs Races over there, Cars Land, Guardians of the Galaxy, Little Mermaid down there. We've got so much to go on today, Charlotte. If you survive. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, great views down there of the Incredicoaster as well. <laughs> Woo! That was a good swing, wasn't it? <laughs> Whee! Oh my god! <laughs> You're right, Charlotte? Yeah. Whoa! Welcome to Disneyland! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, the swinging gondolas. Oh, we're getting a good one going here. Because we stopped here as well, it just keeps going. <sighs> Oh, I do really like Pixar Pier and all of the theming around here, and it looks amazing in the dark with all the lighting around. Charlotte's just come off that. How was your ride? Oh, I didn't like that. Yeah. Oh, I thought I was going to be sick. <laughs> On the Pixar Pal around. Used to be Mickey's Fun Wheel, not anymore though. Oh, I still keep calling it Mickey's Fun Wheel. It's totally cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's still got Mickey on the side though. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it wasn't for you that. Me, that. There we go, on ride footage from the Pixar Pal around. Yeah, it seems like Midway Mania is still closed down here. So then we're going to head round towards Cars Land and Radiator Springs Racers. Oh here we go then, Charlotte. Are you ready to step into what is one of my favourite Disney areas? Wow, this is it. Welcome to Radiator Springs. Of course, the highlight attraction, Radiator Springs Racers, just off to the right there. And yeah, here in Cars Land. Not very busy around here this morning. I think everyone has gone to Web Slingers. So I thought we did the best thing going to some other areas, as much as Midway Mania is still closed down there. Um, yeah, just to come in and look at this. It's absolutely gorgeous. What an amazing area this really is. Here we go. So yeah, we're gonna go and join the standby line. 30 minutes advertised on the app. Might be a little bit more by the time we get there. But yeah, here we go, look at this. Here it comes. Oh. Ooh, here we go. You ready, Charlotte? I'm so excited. Are you okay? Beautiful attraction this is. Ooh. Oh, I love it. The onboard audio adds so much as well.
Thanks, everybody. All right, footage there from the absolutely incredible Radiator Springs racers. Charlotte, how did you find it? That was gorgeous. I was like, the set piece in there was just stunning. The ride system was just excellent. I really enjoyed that. One of Disney's best ever attractions, in my opinion. The electronics was just sensational. Yeah, and of course, you get two different sections as well when they split off with the yeah, two cars. Yeah, it's nice that you're nice racing and stuff. It's just brilliant. It really adds to the experience. But yeah, it's a beautiful ride. The theming, the set pieces, the rock work. Everything. Absolutely amazing amazing all-round attraction and uh, yeah it's just beautiful isn't it really enjoyed it this whole area cars land here at california adventure is one of disney's best in my opinion all the rocks the, all the buildings and yeah there's a couple of other rides down here that we'll come back and do later on but i knew charlotte had loved that loved it the music as well when you go underneath that bridge so and then you see the waterfall it's know, like it just gives you a little flutter so nice i love it beautiful attraction that They come back, right then, so we made our way round into Grizzly Peak then now. <laughs> and went yeah, into our friend just up here. Here he is. Here we go. It's time for Grizzly River Run. Oh great. Rapids. Oh, cute bear out the entrance, it's a rapid. <laughs> yeah. You're looking forward to this one, aren't you, with him being outside? Well, I hope he's on the ride. Look at that. Yeah, he's amazing, he's isn't he? Lovely. I tell you what, you're in for a crack in rapids. There we go, there's Charlotte with the big bear. He is absolutely massive. And look at the fish, Charlotte. There's only a five minute wait for Grizzly. Oh, brilliant. Let's go and get on the rapids. Grizzly Peak is an absolutely gorgeous themed area of this park. I really do like it with all the rocks, all the trees, and the rapids. I have actually donated my hoodie to Charlotte for this ride. Here we go. <laughs> she definitely didn't just steal it off me. I didn't have a choice in the matter. Here we go. It's time to ride the rapids. Here we go then, oh, yeah. Grizzly River Run, and here's Charlotte, the little grizzly bear herself. <laughs> here we go, it's in a few different sections there, so you've got this little calm section here. This is a nice little boat ride. Before we head around to the water mill and oh, up the lift hill. God. Here we go, people are coming off pretty wet, aren't they? Yeah, they are soaking. <laughs> but yeah, you got your seatbelts on just there as well. Yeah. I'm just hoping that because we haven't got too much weight in the boat, we're going to be all right. It's not really warm today, is it? No. So hopefully we're not going to get uh, absolutely dripping wet through. Oh, no. Well, we'll see. Up the lift hill we go. Never trust a rapid with a lift hill. <laughs> Ever! Love the sound of the lift hill. Clunk it us up. Here in Disney's California Adventure. Here we go. Oh. Get ready for it, Charlotte. Oh, Onto the rapids. By the way, there is a pretty big drop coming up on this ride. Joking. No. <laughs> Look at the rock work. There's Grizzly himself up there. Shaped like a bear. Ooh. <laughs> Starts off quite slow yes, and quite that's tame. How it gets you. Here we go, round oh, into a tunnel, I no. think now. Here we go. Look at this. Oh no. No, 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 no! Oh, I can hear him in here. Woo! Yeah, I love the peak over the top. Oh! Water rides in January. Oh my god! Are you alright, Charlotte? No. I thought we are. <laughs> oh, Grizzly. Beautifully themed trough all the way around the outside. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at the trough. Yeah, look at all this rock work. Theme in. Like, even the barriers at the side are themed, like the logs just down there, which is really cool. Oh, no, is this a drop? Yeah, oh. we've got a little drop coming up. Then there is a big one later on. Just a little one to get oh, us going, oh, this one. brilliant. There we go. Oh, no. Doing a bit of painting just up there, look. Oh, I, I'm looking good here. I think it's going to be Charlotte. We're all right. Here we go. Woo! Oh! <laughs> Grizzly! And the Eureka Mineshaft, number 13. Oh! <laughs> getting a bit wild, this is now. I think if we had a full boat, we'd be getting soaked here. Only a few sprinkles so far. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god! Oh look how rocky it is! Oh my! I've forgotten just how rocky waters these are. Choppy seas! Look at the cho choppy seas, alright! Oh. Happy January, Charlotte! A new year of water rides! We're not going down there! We are going to be going down there shortly! 
It's a big drop. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that was good fun. With a full boat though, you get some big waves coming over. We're not going down that. We're all right here. My right leg's just a little bit wet. Oh, big drop coming up. Yeah, we're going right down it, baby. <laughs> is there another way down? No. Oh, this is the mega wave for you now. Can we get it? Oh! No. Yeah. It's Charlotte! It's me! It's me! Oh my god! <laughs> oh! We're alright, Charlotte. Hold on. We're alright. Right. Look at this! <laughs> if the boat was full, we'd have had a soaker there, but we're not too oh, bad. That's my friend over there! Hey, he's lovely, isn't he? I hope to sell him in the gift shop. Oh, he's so nice. <laughs> there we go, Grizzly River Run. Did you like that? No. Why? Didn't like that at all. It's a really good fun rapids that Maybe is. Made me feel sick. Normally they have some extra effects here like when it's warmer, you know, like all these big geysers all blasting up, but uh, yeah, they're off. <laughs> oh, it's a great rapids, Grizzly. Oh, he's had an awesome ride there on Grizzly River Run, all around Grizzly Peak. It's a fantastic rapids that, don't you agree, Charlotte? No! <laughs> I'll tell you what, the female there is good, you got to admit that. I wasn't looking at the theme and I was worried about them big drops. There's a couple of big drops on there as well. We didn't get too wet, to be honest, just a light sprinkle. And I'm quite glad because it's not really too hot today. It's not that warm. Yeah, so I'm glad that uh, we didn't get too wet. But you know what, it's a great ride. I love Grizzly Peak. This area around here is gorgeous and all the trees, the rocks. And yeah, what I really like with that is how all the trough is themed around the outside as well. Just fits in beautifully. It's like he's been here for many years, even though it's only been here since 2001. Uh, anyway, we spoke about this at the start of the vlog. Avengers Campers is brand new here at California Adventure. Let's go and check it out. Yeah, we're going to have a little walk through. And uh, yeah, we'll be checking out Web Slingers at some point. But first, we're going to head towards Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. When I was here a couple of years ago, it was kind of weird because it was my first time going on Guardians. It replaced Tower of Terror. Oh. And uh, we both love Tower of Terror. Tower I so love much. Tower, Tower so much. But I'm really hoping that now the whole area is open, Guardians kind of fits in better with Avengers Campus because before it was just kind of on there, it's on its own, you so know, at the kind side. Of out of place. Yeah, so we're going to walk through Avengers Campus, go and do Guardians, and then uh, yeah, have a little walk through the new area. Well, just before we head into Avengers Campus, Charlotte here is having some lunch. What have you gone for, Charlotte? The macaroni and cheese bowl. Oh, look at that. Huge portion as well. How much was it? Half a dollar. Yeah, not too bad at all. That big portion. That'll fill you up, that will. I won't eat all that. Oh, look at that. But uh, yeah, this Pacific Wharf themed area. It's got loads of food around here. Lots of waterside dining. Yeah, it's really nice. Can't seem to find Charlotte anywhere. Like, I lost her after having some food. Whoa, whoa. Oh, she's over here. Here we go. It's a record catch. Seven and a quarter tons just over there. There you go, what a wonderful catch. I'll come and get you, don't you worry about that. I'll come and save you. There we go. <laughs> what an awesome picture spot down here at Pacific Wharf. Just walk over that way, why don't you just come out down there? There you go. I'm safe from the fishery. <laughs> All right, come on, fishermen, let's go. Here we go, welcome to Avengers Campus here at Disney California Adventure. This is also going to be the year 2022 when this area opens at Disneyland Paris in Walt Disney Studios. Star attraction, Web Slingers, and that's located in the show building just here. And everyone's gathering around here, Charlotte. You know why? What's going on? To see the Spider-Man Stuntronic. I can't wait to see this. Now, of course, we saw this in the Imagineering story, didn't we? Yeah, I was like, wow. Working on it, and yeah, everyone's gathering, so it must be happening shortly. Spider-Man Stuntronic, it's going to be awesome. It's coming up now here on Theme Park Worldwide. Can't wait to see this. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Avengers Games. Oh, oh, I want popcorn. I think I'm hungry. seen anything quite like that before how awesome was that honestly that is incredible so that of is. course you see spider-man do all his stunts and all his tricks and then he goes out the back and it's actually one of the new stuntronics that goes flying up in the it's air incredible. amazing so yeah that is an animatronic that moves and can walk and that is amazing the first time i ever saw it i thought it was real like, i can't believe that that it's was so amazing good. to see so yeah we're gonna have a little walk around avengers campus and we're getting the keeper uh, web slingers i think now you got web suppliers just over there. 
Oh, Charlotte's been drawn in by some of the merch. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Guardians looks a lot better now. It's got this area around it. I can deal with it a lot better now than when I was here a couple of years ago. Yeah, it did just say on the app that there was only a 45 minute standby for Web Slingers. So I think we're going to go and do that first. Earlier on, it was nearly on two hours. But yeah, here's the entrance to the left. I'll tell you what, that was amazing just to see that. Disney and what they're doing with some of their recent things really is amazing. Yeah, 45 minutes standby. Should we go and join the line? Here we go, the brand new dark ride. Web Slingers, yeah, looking forward to seeing what this is like actually. There's been a lot of mixed reviews from it, so yeah, it's gonna be really interesting just to see. But yeah, 45, not too bad in standby. Got some great theming around here though. And yeah, right now they are finishing the construction at Disneyland Paris. This exact ride is gonna be coming. And also the Stuntronic as well, which is gonna be awesome with that Spider-Man show. Yeah, it's quite nicely themed all around here. Very industrial vibe about it. Oh, and I just walked into a wall. <laughs> Well, just so you all know, web fluid is super sticky. Well, there you go. But here's a look at some of the theming in the queue line. Yeah, you got all the webs up there at the top. Lots to look at in this queue. It is a bit of a cattle pen. Yeah, at least it's nicely themed with lots going on. And yeah, it's moving at a reasonable pace, which is good. Well, around the corner, there was lots to look at in the queue line. But yeah, it's pretty basic around at this side, unfortunately. Yeah, you've got this nice tree just here, but uh, yeah, I'm not such a fan of this part of the queue line. Not loads to look at or really much going on, unfortunately. Hi there, and come on in. Welcome to the Worldwide Engineering Brigade. Thanks here we go, so we've waited about 45 minutes. Well, web Slingers, here we go. Access to cutting edge resources so that they can create tech that will empower everything so the kids can create the next big idea that will give you the tools to become the next generation of heroes. We hope you have a great time on your visit to the Worldwide Engineering Brigade Open House. Oh, they seem to be sucking self obligation mode. If you could just handle that for me, please. On it. Contacting Mr. Stark. Don't call Mr. Stark! Activating threat level protocols. Hey guys, what's up? I need a remote problem. I'm here to help. You made it. Great. Threat level is at exponential danger. You might need some help. Perhaps I'll help you. We just see a little bit of footage there from the pre-show. That was quite cool, wasn't yeah, it? The pre-show was good. Yeah, I really liked that. It was hard to tell what was the screen and what was real. I couldn't tell that like, the little spines. I didn't know if it was real or not. So yeah, in terms of the ride system itself, of course we need the 3D glasses on just here. And uh, yeah, I'm expecting quite a lot of screens on here, but hopefully some theming too, fingers crossed. But well, all you gotta do, Charlotte, is uh, shoot out them webs. Just like that. It's a bit like Ninjago at the Lego oh, Land Park. I love Ninjago. <laughs> so yeah, let's see uh, how we get on with this. But, yeah, the pre-show was awesome, really liked that. Here's a look then inside the loading area and the ride vehicles just down there. We like these up here in the pipes, they look amazing. It's hard to type the real or screens. Yeah, there's a look at the operator's cabin in there as well. Even that's themed up. <laughs> amazing. Yeah, there's the ride vehicles themselves over there. Speaking of which, for your safety, what's on Very industrial feel to it. But yeah, it's pretty nicely themed in here. But yeah, the pre-show was awesome. Really looking forward to this. I'm not too sure what to expect. I have seen POVs. However, it's always, you know, it's hard to tell until you have your first ride on something. So yeah, looking forward to it. Quite a high throughput attraction there, which is good. So yeah, we will see you on the ride. Are you ready to sling some webs? Here we go. <laughs>
8,100, only 22.5 for me, but I was filming. <laughs> So you've just seen some on-ride footage there from Web Slingers, a Spider-Man adventure. And yeah, we was going in there with pretty low expectations, and I'm glad that I did with that. It was a pretty mediocre ride experience in my opinion. It's not the ride for me. It's like, I don't like Ninjago. It's just so much effort. For me, I think the actual ride system is okay. It's okay, um, It's actually yeah. easier um, to, to work with the Ninjago, isn't it? Because you haven't it? got like, the sensors on like, the lap bar. Yeah, it's kind of raised up above. Which is better. Um, and in terms of a throughput point of view, View. There's plenty of vehicles going round and it's double sided as well, four on each side. So, so eight per vehicle. Uh, what I was a bit disappointed in was just the lack of theme in it. It was all heavily screen based. It's, just it's basically a Midway Mania but Spider Man themed. Yeah. I just think for a massive um, name like Spider Man, a massive brand like that, Expect I was expecting more. something better. You look at what Universal did with the brand at Islands of Adventure back in 1999 and the amazing adventures of Spider Man, and that is a much better it's attraction amazing. in my opinion. Um, so yeah, I am a little bit disappointed with that. You wouldn't think that the Walt Disney Company and Disney Imagineering have created that, to be honest. It feels not. very lackluster, very mediocre experience. However, the pre-show was good. Um, there were some nice bits of theming throughout the parts of the queue line and some of the indoor sections. Just and the ride vehicles special. are nice. Yeah. It's just nothing special. I won't want to wait more than 30 minutes for that definitely coming to this park. Um, but still, it is a new attraction. It's something different. It's just not the Disney standard that I was expecting, especially with them now having Spider-Man and Avengers. Exactly. Uh, I just thought that I wanted to do something big and grand and spectacular and unfortunately Web Slingers just wasn't that. But it was good fun and uh, yeah, the actual screen quality and the visuals was pretty good. The screen quality was excellent. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I enjoyed the pre-show more than anything. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just seeing some of the other little bits around, some of the smaller details. I like the creatures that were crawling through the pipes. It was brilliant. Yeah. I thought it was actually real, but it's just such a high quality screen. Yeah, definitely. So it's not a bad ride. Um, you know, if that was in the UK theme park, it'd be one of the best dark rides in the country. But for here, it's just Okay. Yeah, definitely. But so uh, we've been on there. Let's continue having a walk around the area or we'll head down towards Guardians. What I really do love about this area is the entertainment that they've got going on. Obviously, we saw Spider Man, but you've also got a live action show taking place up there on the roof as well, which is really good. And that brings a new level to this area, you know, with the entertainment all the way around just happening above you, which is really cool. Also, in the video, you might have seen it um, just in the vlog clip from on the ride. And uh, yeah, you actually saw Guardians of the Galaxy featured in the video. Did you notice that, Shara? Did it. you know? Yeah, it was actually in the backdrop of one of the scenes, which was pretty cool. Yeah, you got the Pim Test Kitchen just over there on the left-hand side. So yeah, that's actually going to be coming to Disneyland Paris as well. Look at this. And here it is, Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. As much as I'm not a huge fan of what they did to the old Tower of Terror, I do think it fits in a lot better now that it's got all of this area around it. Obviously, that was done first. And oh, there you go. Love all the uh, <laughs> all the live action taking place up there. But so yeah, it does fit in a lot better now than it did before. I'm still not a huge fan of the attraction. I'm looking forward to seeing Charlotte's reactions to it. Uh, but you know, it is still a good ride. It's good fun more than anything. But yeah, at least it's got an area that, that it fits in with now. But uh, yeah, you know, the area itself is quite nice. I don't think it's anything spectacular, Avengers no, Campus. I agree with you, to be honest. You know, it's one of the weaker things Disney have done, in my opinion. I agree, uh, yeah. You know, out of recent investments. Um, I know that, you know, it is all based around um, the Avengers and uh, with all the kind of industrial feel of it. However, it's just not my cup of tea, I'll be honest, the area. Do with a few more like big set pieces and stuff. Yeah, there's not loads to look at. You know at. what I mean? You know, it's just very industrial and just feels a little bit lackluster compared to the normal Disney quality that you'd expect. And uh, so I'm really hoping this isn't a sign of things to come with the Walt Disney Company and future investments. But yeah, for me, I really do think that it's going to be better in Disneyland Paris because yeah. you're going to have the Iron Man roller coaster. So it's going to be a lot better. Of course, rock and roller coaster is re-theme in the area so that'll be nice um, but yeah it's it's okay I'm just not walking around the area thinking it's amazing but I'm sure it'll be better at night as well it looks like there's a lot of theme lighting but here we go Are you ready for it Charlotte I'm ready Guardians of the Galaxy mission breakout let's go have a look at it from around here at the front huge Tower of Terror fans we were I'm so sad <laughs> so we've got a standby line of 45 minutes for Guardians of the Galaxy mission breakout just up there at the top. But yeah, last time I was here two years ago, there was just a big fence down here at the side. But at least now, <laughs> it has got an area. Don't worry, Charlotte. Disney, what are you doing? <laughs> it does ride quite good, to be fair. Yeah. Like, you know, you just got to imagine, I've said this before and I'll say it again, if this was just built from the ground up, yeah. it would be fantastic. Know. You know, it's just the fact it's replaced a theme and brand that we love. Oh, we missed. Da -da -da -da. 
<laughs> Don't worry, we'll be going back to Florida later in the year, I'm sure. But um, we've still got it at Disneyland Paris as well, which is amazing. But uh, here we go. Yeah, let's go and join the standby line with Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. It is a good fun attraction though. So, you know, most people come to a theme park, they have popcorn, maybe donuts, or here in America, churros, but there's Charlotte over here. She's got this sweet corn. What? Why? I was not gonna be with him. Yes, could you eat a massive sweet corn? <laughs> I nearly said I was doing the Cuba Tower Tower then, but uh, yeah, I forgot. Here we go. Oh my god! <laughs> Look how she gets a mouth on that sweet corn. There we go. Look at that. What, what are you holding as well? It's got like meat at the bottom, hasn't it? Let's have a look. So that looks like a bit of bone. <laughs> <laughs> Only in America, sweet corn. There we go, in a theme park. No, I Love it. It's so weird, isn't it? However, you've got your figment top on there, haven't you? Now, you might have thought there's no figment to be seen anywhere here at the Disneyland Resort. Well, there is. What? There's actually a figment statue. It's very hard to see him, but he's right up there. I'm going to zoom in a bit for you now. You can just make out the shadow of him. This is one of them little Easter eggs here inside the attraction. You can just make out the shadow of him just up there as part of the collection here on display. We might see him better around the corner. But yeah, that is Figment just up there. Really hard to spot him, but it is. Here we go, you can get a better view of Figment up there in the box from just here. There he is. Figment, everybody, one of the classics from Epcot at Walt Disney World. You can just see his silhouette there. That was not part of the plan! What? Of course I escaped! For those of you who have not been paying attention, the name's Rocket. One of the Guardians of the Galaxy. The quality of that audio animatronic is amazing, isn't it, Charlotte? Really cool. Yeah, that was the scene that used to be the library. Obviously, it was in the lobby before that, where Figment is in his box. <laughs> yeah, this is the boiler room. Are you ready to ride? It is good fun, this. I'm ready. Here we go. Come and join us on Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. Just come off Charlotte's first ever ride on Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. What are your thoughts? So the ride system, love it. The theme, hate it. <laughs> the ride system is one of the best in the world. Like it really is. The ride system's incredible. Like I absolutely loved Tot so much, and I feel like it did not need a retheme. Your thoughts are exactly what mine were a couple of years ago when it I went didn't on need it. it. It didn't need it at all. I know a lot of people do really like it, but it's just not for us at all, is Definitely. it? Definitely. Like if I had and never been on Tart and been on that, I'd absolutely love it. But the fact is, it's just replaced something that we loved so much. Yeah, and a lot of people did. You know, it's one of them that you don't hear about too much now. But for me, I walk into this area and see the building, and, I'm like, and what? I still don't think it looks great either. And got figment in a box. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like you look at the building itself, it just, it's it just doesn't look great. It just doesn't look Disney right. standard. Uh, in my opinion, you know, it's one of them that I like shall say just, you know, I agree with. Um, if that had been built, um, just a standalone attraction, it'd be amazing. And rethemed it uh, from Tower of Terror, it'd be a fantastic ride. But no, it's just not for us at all. No. For me, I'd say that now we've seen the complete package of Avengers Campus. Obviously, I saw Guardians before, but now we've seen Web Slingers in the area. It's not that great. It's one of the weakest Disney areas, in my opinion. I completely agree. And not just here at the Disneyland Resort, across all of the Disney parks. I just feel like it's been done on a budget. Yeah. It feels really budget. I mean, the building up the top just there. No, and then now we're seeing the rest of Web Slingers. It's good, but it's not the Disney standard what you normally expect. Agree. But uh, here we go. We've done it. We've seen the complete package now. And yeah, it's uh, my thoughts are still the same there on Guardians of the Galaxy. And Charlotte feels the same. It's good fun, but uh, yeah, it's lost that atmosphere. That is what people love. It was walking through. It was the build up. It's a terrifying ride system. And now it's got the pop music on there. Oh, no like, words. Yeah, it makes no sense to me. But there we go. It is what it is. It's Guardians of the Galaxy. Galaxy. We'll have a couple of rides on this trip, I'm Definitely. sure. But there's much better rides here at the Disneyland Resort for us.
Up next, then we're here in the Hollywood Studios area now. Now, we've not made our way to Walt Disney World, but uh, yeah, we're going on Mike and Sully to the rescue. It's a Monsters Inc. attraction, and yeah, this is really good actually. I quite like this. Yeah, we'll go and have a ride. You're like a dog. Here we go. We only wait about 10 minutes there. Was appetized 30. Oh, googly Charlotte. I, I felt like I was in the film going through like all the little set pieces. It was lovely. All the doors as well. It was really, really cool. Nice. That was the nicest scene. Like seeing all the doors going about. It was lovely. You're quite a big Monsters Inc. fan, aren't I you? I really like Monsters Inc. So I was spotting all the characters. It's a dark ride that people don't really talk about that, that much. That really good. Don't miss it when you come. Yeah, it's a really nice ride, you know. Really nice. But um, yeah, I do love this area. Unfortunately, there's not loads of entertainment at the moment across both the Disney parks here. You've got the Hyperion Theatre that used to have Frozen inside. A gorgeous theatre, nothing inside at the moment. You know, shows are lacking here, aren't yeah, they, at the moment? They are, sadly. Uh, but hopefully, you know, things will Fingers start returning crossed. soon. We know that the big shows are coming back later this Fingers year, uh, which is good to see. But uh, Walt Disney World has definitely got more entertainment that's re returned since the pandemic. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have a little stroll down and get some more rides in now and just soak up the atmosphere of Disney California. California Adventure and Charlotte's running off into a gift shop. I love it. <laughs> Next up then, we're going on one of my all-time favorite Disney dog rides. It's the Little Mermaid Ariel's Undersea Adventure. Charlotte over here has been having snacks, haven't you? What have you gone for now? I'm sort of Mickey ice cream. First it was the sweet corn. Oh no, actually you had that bread earlier, then the sweet corn, then this. All these snacks Charlotte's having. Snacks, snacks, snacks. <laughs> well, here we go. Yeah, we're going into uh, Little Mermaid now. Great dog ride, this. Minute wait, and off we go. Yeah. 
footage there from the Little Mermaid. That's a beautiful tar ride, isn't it? I love the sea. I love that. I love the Little Mermaid. So it's nice to see it on ride form. The quality of the animatronics on there as well. It's so good. Like, Ursula's amazing. Absolutely spectacular. Please. I tell you what, though, this amazing technology over here. So World of Colour, earlier on when we came in, we showed you all the structure. Well, it can actually lower down and lift up, which is pretty cool. Yeah, they've obviously finished the maintenance work for today now. So it's lowered back down underwater. How cool is I that? Think that's really good to do that. They've done the work and then they lower it so people have got a nice view. Yeah, definitely. It's a shame we're not going to get World of Colour this trip. Um, but you know what? Hopefully we're going to be getting some fireworks over in Disneyland in our day two vlog. Yay. Fingers crossed, as long as the weather doesn't stop that from happening. But so yeah, you've also got lots of other great rides here at Disney California Adventure. We've actually got a lot of flat rides, especially over to the right hand side here. We've got another coaster to get Charlotte on down here. And uh, yeah, some other big rides coming up later on as well. We've got Soaring to get on. And uh, yeah, also head back into Cars Land, do the rides over there. Like Luigi's is really good. Uh, Tomater, some great stuff. Yeah, really so much to do here. It's another fantastic second gate park. It really is. Here we are then on the Golden Zephyr. Oh, I love this attraction. Yeah, it looks really old and historic, like the flying machines back at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. But it's not, yeah, it's actually a much more modern version of the ride that's been here since 2001 when the park opened. Nice short cycle on there, that's all you get. That that's all you get. Flying machines, like a six minute ride. Yeah, you get about a minute and a half on this one, the Golden Zephyr. There you go. You get some great views though all the way around this part of California Adventure. But that's what Disney do with the uh, flat rides. They run them on short cycles, just try and get people through quicker. Luckily, we walked straight on it. I had no queue at all. Next ride coming up down here, we've got the jumping jellyfish. Are you ready, Charlotte? So, so another walk on this is, let's go. Oh, up we go, walk straight onto the jumping jellyfish. Great views, the Paradise Pier Hotel just over there. Look at these gorgeous palm trees. Silly Symphony Swings. How many drops are we gonna get? Three or four, maybe? Short cycles at Disney, but we've got Goofy Sky School coming up next, just over there. And yeah, there's the Grand Californian Hotel. Absolutely beautiful. I'd love to stay there at some point in the future. I really would. Woo! Yeah, you can see some of the decorations up around here for Lunar New Year. It's an event what they're running here at California Adventure. Starts in a few days' time at the time I was recording this video. There we go, that's it. Short cycle, Charlotte. Keeps the queues down though, doesn't it? Yeah. Here we go then, waiting about 20 minutes for Goofy Sky School. Here we go, he was loving it. Nice Mac Wild Mouse. You ready, Charlotte? Yeah. Don't worry, you get a good ride round on this one. A bit longer than the previous couple of cycles there. Good. <laughs> Let's go! Hangar 4, not that way, that's the transfer track. Up we go. Sun's starting to go down. Can we say sun? It's not been very sunny today. Woo! There's a view of the Paradise Pier Hotel. Disneyland Hotel over there. Whoa! Come on, Goofy, let's do it. Woo! <laughs> hey! Do love going into the corners. What a cracking view. Woo! Got that goofy? Yep. <laughs> Woo! Oh! Straight in the corner, I love it. Oh no, we're going through that way. Hey! I do like the billboard theme. In. Woo! Oh, look at the hotel. We're going to get some airtime or trims. Place your bets, is it? Oh, not too bad. Hey! <laughs> Oh, it's fast! Hey. Whoa! Actually got some good air then. Trimmed a bit there. Not too bad. Could have been worse. Ooh. Got some nice near misses here. Hey. It's actually got a slightly different layout than some of the others out there. It was toned down a little bit for Disney. Whoa! Congratulations! Flex, Doofy! Oh, graduated. 
So we just got off Goofy Sky School. I don't know why she was laughing over it. How was he right on that? I didn't enjoy yeah, that. It's really good. <laughs> yeah, you got some good air time on there. Yeah, really good ride. Brake's not too uh, harsh on that. She's having a bit of a laughing fit. I don't know why, but uh, there we go. Anyway, we're off on another flat ride now. The silly Symphony Swings just over here. Honestly, what is up with you, Charlotte? I don't know what's tickled here tonight here at DCA, but uh, yeah, let's go on here. You get a nice view all across the water. Oh, I love the music on here. Look at the great view. Sun's going down here in SoCal. Wow. Incredicosa looks apart, doesn't it? All the lights on there. But yeah, it's going to be getting dark soon. Da, 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 da. It's like Charlotte's grand reveal music, this. Da. Charlotte, everybody. Silly Symphony Swings. Woo. Love the music there on the Silly Symphony Swings and Charlotte's dancing. I tell you what, you match the theme around here in that purple. Look at this, there we go, inside out, emotional whirlwind just over here, little balloon ride. But yeah, this used to actually be in a Bugs Land that used to be here. Yeah, and of course, the Rangers campus replaced the Bugs Land. Yeah, nice attraction that, with all the lighting, very colorful. Yeah, have a little stroll down this way. Continue on, down here on Pixar Pier. Look at that beautiful sunset right behind Incredicoaster and Pixar Pier. It's a gorgeous park at night on this golden hour, one of my favorite times in a theme park. Welcome to Cars Land at night, Route 66, Radiator Springs. It is beautiful around here, isn't it, Charlotte? Oh, this is stunning. Oh, it's so nice with all the neon lights around here. The vibes are real here at Disney California Adventure. And yeah, we're going on Mesa now, just over here on the left. Love the theme of this ride. There's Tomei taking us in our tractor. And yeah, you got all the nice lights at the top, the music. Great ride, this. Isn't it? Woo! <laughs> you will get a short cycle though, Charlotte. You have to apologize. Oh! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. It's like the skin this is. Skin it round. Radiator spring. Oh, I love it. All the lights. It's a night ride this one. That's why we saved it for now. We've got Luigi's coming up next. Disney California Adventure. Woo. <laughs> oh, so sorry I squashed your arm. Woo. Oh, that was so much fun. Love that attraction. And yeah, really enjoying the lights now here in Cars Land. It really is amazing. I love it around here. All the neon lights, flows just over there. And of course, Ornament Valley straight ahead. And yes, up next we got Luigi. Is he looking forward to this? I don't know what it is. She doesn't have an idea. We're gonna have a little, a little dance around. This is an outdoor trackless ride. Yeah, something a little bit different for you. Woohoo, here we go. Luigi's rollicking roadsters. So yeah, all these trackless cars move around and dance under this lovely canopy of lights. How nice is this? Yeah, different songs every ride as well. <laughs> yeah, they'll move around, I love it. Alright, let's go and get on. Woo! Here we go! Ready for a dance, Charlotte, with all the cars. Oh, I love this. <laughs> Come on, Luigi, give us your best ride. <laughs> Whoa! That's got a bit of kick to him. 
Why don't you get a spin him round in a minute? Woo. I like the yellow one. I like the yellow one. in the middle we're all dancing around the side <laughs> such a great ride i'd love to see something like this in more parks here we go Woo. oh it's nice isn't it I think we're gonna get a spin in a minute. Ooh. Are we getting a spin? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Woo. <laughs> You're right there, Charlotte. Oh, what a ride. Woo. Rolling in roasters. And they all park in different places as well. It's a spectacular themed area this is and all three rides are great down here as well. Where's Charlotte gone? She's over here doing a bit of dancing. You thought you did a bit of line dancing then. Oh, yeah. oh here we go. Let's see a bit of line dancing. Come on. Okay. In Radiator Springs. Hey. Oh, that is good. That is. Here we go. Oh, did you enjoy your ride on Love Luigi's? That. Absolutely loved that. It's so re-rideable as well. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. Look at this, Charlotte. It's gorgeous. What you wouldn't realise is there's a main road the other side of there. I know you wouldn't know. Like, it is so immersive. One of the most beautiful, wonderful themed areas anywhere in the world, Cars Land. Oh wow, look at this. The view is amazing. All the way across there. So the Pixar Palaram Wheel. Wow, it is incredible, isn't it? It's a gorgeous part there, this at night. And yeah, now this has become one of them Disney icons that everybody knows around the world. Looks incredible there, doesn't it? The wheel with all the lights on. It is beautiful. Yeah, we're making our way now for right on Toy Story Midway Mania that's located down there on the pier. All the lights around here are amazing. And then you got Mr. Potato Head just over here. There he is. Brilliant animatronic. 65 minute wait. It's always a busy one, this. Here we go. the music of a Toy Story. Charlotte to be a loser 110,123 and I was filming with a GoPro how do you feel not disgusting it's all about that bonus round baby it's very sad but I was going last this <laughs> well I don't want to know <laughs> how does it feel Charlotte after that epic win by I me I think you're cheating oh, how can you cheat on that it's a fair game no 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 <laughs> Anyway, we went on this earlier on, but I thought we've got to come on it at night. It's the Incredicoaster. Oh, it's a spectacular ride, right it. this. It's going to be great. Oh, here we go. We only waited 10 minutes there. And we're on the front row of the Incredicoaster at night. This is a great experience. All the lights. Here we go.
you've just had a night ride there on the Incredicoaster. It's such a good ride, I really like it. It's a beautiful attraction really, at night. Really like it. All the lights on there. Well, we thought we'd come and have a look around Avengers Campus at night with it being the new area. And i tell you what, I didn't realise the floor was going to light up here at the entrance. So yeah, I'm going to have a little walk through, show you all the lighting. Like I said earlier in the vlog, this is going to be coming to Disneyland Paris. I actually think the area looks a lot better at night, in my opinion. Yeah, like I think it's been more designed for at night, to be honest. Like, all these strip lights at the side. It looks it, quite different at night. It does. It looks completely different. It's in the daytime, I didn't find it that impressive. But at night, I think it's looking really good. Tell you what I did find impressive, though. Good old Spidey earlier on up there. He was amazing. I can't believe how much better this area looks at night. All the lanterns up here in the trees. Yeah, it really comes alive around here in Avengers Campus. When the sun goes down here in California, yeah, look at this. Even Guardians looks better at night. Oh, I love all this. It's like the meet and greet area thing around here. I'll tell you what, this area in the dark is much nicer. So much nicer at night. It is indeed. Something I just wanted to mention though was the old street trolley. I really hope it does come back. Yeah, as you can see, they've extended the track here and yeah, they put the shutters in. So I'm hoping the trolley comes back at some point. It runs all the way down to Buena Vista Street. And uh, yeah, it's nice how they put the track in. So I really hope that comes back because it was a really nice added attraction here. Anyway, we've pretty much done everything in this park. We have. Other than one attraction. So Soaring around the world, so we're going to end our day just over there with a ride on Soaring. Ending the day then here in Grizzly Peak with a ride on Soaring around the world. Off soaring there, our final ride of the day here at Disney California Adventure. It's always great to get back on soaring. Yeah, it's a good ride, it's not one of my favourites, but we had a really good seat on that one. It's the music and the smells on there as well that the really smells make it. Are so good. Well, it has come to the end of our visit here to Disney California Adventure, and we've done everything this park's got to offer, really. I've really enjoyed it today, we've had a great day. What would you say has been your favourite attraction? Radiator Springs, oh, my favourite. I also loved Incredicoaster as well. Yeah, Incredicoaster is awesome, especially with the night ride. Yeah, it's a fantastic. Fantastic second gate part this is. There's so many rides again packed into it. I know, it. there's just so much. It was also good to see Avengers Campus, especially at night. It's certainly an area that I'd recommend doing it on an evening, it's actually. It's so much better at night with all the lights. It makes such a huge difference. Yeah, I mean, our thoughts on Web Slingers remain the same. However, it's something else added to the park, and that's always a good thing from a capacity point exactly. of view. Uh, but there we go. It's been an absolutely fantastic day. For me, to see Charlotte's reactions yeah. to it all has been great. It's weird being in this park without the entertainment. So just world of colour and uh, just seeing like a stage show in the Hyperion. I really hope that entertainment comes back soon to Disneyland. Uh, there's currently a lot more entertainment offerings over at Walt Disney World than there is here at Disneyland, but we're still having a fantastic time. We're having a great time. And I tell you what, if you like me and the characters, there's loads around in oh, both of the parks. Oh, we've seen loads of characters. But yeah, it's a great second gate park, of course. We went on Grizzly as well. Nice oh, water ride for Grizzly. Charlotte. And there's so many other fantastic attractions. If you haven't already, check out yesterday's vlog from over in Disneyland, of course. The original Disneyland right next door and coming up next we're going to be back inside that part with the day two vlog there's that many attractions there that you've got to spread it out over a couple there's of days there's so much there's so much we haven't done yeah Charlotte's hardly seen any of it yeah you know there's still loads more to come over at Disneyland lots of like all that nooks and crannies as I would say to get into with that park and we'll be delving into those in the day two vlog but uh, here from DCA that leaves us with one final thing to say get, get out, out there and keep, keep on riding. riding see you all tomorrow